but we did get some assistance through the Working Lands Grant um, through the state of Vermont. So, and we it was like a matching grant. So the red sort of um, framed building is the original structure, yeah. and then and we added on to the east and to the north. And then there was no, it was all rock floor, so we did all the concrete flooring and um, the wa the interior walls. It was there had there were no walls on it before, so. Yeah, this used to just be like pallets on the grass basically out here. So um, yeah, and just having it all be continuous concrete was a big deal. And pull it, we used to have the root washer inside this space all the time, which was just, yeah, just takes up a lot of space for a piece of equipment that we don't use quite that often. Working in the shade, out of the rain. It's also safe space in the, in the thunder and lightning storms. It's It often is like our go-to, you know, when thunder comes, and every, the whole crew's got to come in. Everybody can grab a hose and just start washing totes, which is awesome. It's time consuming. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we've definitely looked into like tote washing machines. It's just we're not at a scale where that makes any sense, at least that we figured out. So, um, but just this simple like organization, I think, has improved a lot because we know what's clean. So we can at least get the like today's task done and set the dirty ones aside and do them when we need to do them. And so yeah, just organization we found has been a big efficiency. I guess per day, it's been something like an hour, maybe an hour a day. It's not like it's, but it is every day, you know, like you gotta keep up with it. And so, washing totes. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure, that's part of vegetable growing, you know? <laughs> this actually is something that didn't come to mind, but the, our supply cabinet was kind of a surprising, like, I don't know, efficiency improvement for us. Just because it's such a wet space, we always had a hard time figuring out where to put all the stickers and markers and like bags and things that we're going to try to handle all the time, but you have wet hands or that you're spraying everything down. So just investing in this kind of simple supply cabinet that can get sprayed and, but everything is right here. Cause we used to like put everything upstairs. So you'd have to like run upstairs just to go get some bags or whatever. So, um, and we put it on wheels. Thing, so, so it's like sheet metal roofing material that we got from the hardware store and yeah so with the metal break we could just bend um, the, in, an inch on either and then slide them together like this yeah. so it's waterproof and um, but also just really durable and a little bit better looking than the dairy board stuff we're, we're not into the dairy board so <laughs> yeah it's nice yeah and then um, in the same theme of like the everything being modular and movable, we installed like a French cleat system along the top rail of it so we can move all the shelving. So you can, if we say we move the tables or the, you know, you could move that whole rack of gloves to another wall if you wanted to. So. And this whole door is all, uh, all the orders for the day. And you know, this time of day, everything is whittled down to just all that whatever we couldn't, whatever orders we couldn't make or haven't done yet. Yeah. And and actually kind of the whole instructions for the renovation through him. Yeah. Cool. And, but he's like constantly tweaking and modifying. Like he hasn't landed on his perfect right. design. Absolutely. This, you know, this whole thing, which we like. I, I'm, I'm into this. So we drilled them, just buy it, the, the can and then drill the holes through, yeah. I think Clean and uniform. Like, sanded them and everything yeah. That got yeah. Into it. Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, I mean, nothing. Nothing sticks to it. It's easy to clean.